Hi, I'm Annie. I normally give a botanical drawing lesson, um, but at the moment I'm at home, so I'm going to be doing this drawing lesson on my own and I thought it might be quite fun to share it. I'm going to split it up to about four sections. So this is part one, getting ready and getting started. Um, otherwise, I'll just kind of run out of battery and space on my phone. So the first session is about getting started. So it's really for beginners. So I've chosen something relatively simple. You can see I've got a, a couple of twig, a twig with a few leaves. And this one's got a catkin on it. It's dropped off, so I'm just going to place it next to it, just like that, um, as if it's coming out of the out of the little branch that's fine um so that's my first step and the other thing to note is it's quite a good idea if you can find a piece of white paper to place your twig on the white paper then you can see what you're doing a bit easier also i have got an angle poise lamp um which is really useful to having some directional light so at the moment all my light is coming from um, the top of the paper up here and so it's going to hit the top of the twig and um, make it lighter there and darker underneath and that will make it easier to make a three-dimensional image. I've also got some pencils here and I've arranged them um, into um, from very soft which will be like a 4B um, through to a, in the middle like an HB and then going all the way up to a hard pencil like a 4H. So have a look around and see what pencils you can find. And on the end of the pencils, um, there's a notation. That, that one says H on it. That means it's hard. And this one says 4H. So that's even harder. So the number, as the numbers go up, it's getting harder. And the same with the Bs, the soft pencil, they start off at like a B. And then there's a B. And then as you go on, they'll go to 4B. So have a look round, see what you can find. Also, you'll need a sharpener and make sure before you even start that your pencils are super sharp, um, really, really pointy sharp. Otherwise, it makes it really difficult um, to get a good edge. And I've got a spreading stick for the graphite from the pencils, which is really useful. Um, you might not have one of those at home, but I successfully made one the other day by sharpening a used matchstick. It's used because it's a bit safer. And if you sharpen the end of the matchstick, um, you can get a kind of pointy bit of wood. And then that will be quite good for spreading the graphite. Um, you could use your finger, but my fingers are a bit fat, so it's easier to use a stick. And also you'll need a rubber for where you want to clean it up. And um, make sure, rub your rubber on a piece of paper, make sure you've got a clean edge for it. Mine's a bit grubby, so rub it so it's nice and white and clean. And alternatively, you might have got a um, sort of moldable rubber. This one I've got here is moldable um, and you can make a point out of that. And again, give it a little rub to make sure it's clean. So stage one, once you've got set up with all your gear, is to just do a layout um, of your twig or you've chosen from the garden. And I would use um, an H, 2H, 3H or HB if you can be really gentle with it. So a nice hard pencil to do that. Uh, I've got a pencil that says F on it. I think that means fine. So that's quite a good idea. So on, on my paper, oh, I should mention I'm using um, an A4 piece of paper it is in a sketchbook it's quite stiff paper but you could use printer paper but a4 landscape is a really good shape for doing this so first of all i'm just going to look really carefully um, at the shape the rough shape of the twig and draw a line You'll probably just about make it out on your page on my page um, to do the layout so i can change this later if i've got it wrong but it just gets the drawing onto the piece of paper that could go a bit deeper there um, otherwise you find the drawing ends up all in one corner that's not really what you want to do um, so anybody can do this as long as you can hold a pencil and you can look you're able to um, do a kind of a rough layout and do a drawing a botanical drawing it's not that difficult it's about looking and having some time to do it so what I'm doing now having done the rough layout is I'm going to mark on pretty roughly where my leaves are going to form with a big sort of circle area and I've got this catkin coming on here 
So I just get the positioning of all these things right. And it's probably a good idea to put little marks where you've got some significant buds on your stem so you don't get in a muddle um, counting them later on. Um, you just get a rough idea of how all of this works um, and it can fit on the page. The lovely thing about drawing plants is that it doesn't really matter if it's not quite right because the position might have moved um, if a squirrel had like, nudged it or the wind had blown. So you, know, you just enjoy it and do the layout onto your page. So I'm just quickly doing the layout for you. Um, there's that going on there. And then I can just see, I'm going to miss that leaf bit out for a minute, just concentrate on my, on my twig, a little bit there. And then I've got another bud forming here somewhere, another little bud here, and a bit of a knobble going on here. And the thing to notice is that as you go down the twig from the end of the twig, by and large, the twig is getting thicker. So it'll be thinner at the end of your twig. And um, that's something you want to replicate to make sure that it's kind of realistic. So now I've pretty well got that all laid out. There we go, a bit more here. I'm just going to have a look at this leaf form that I've got here. So I'm going to rub out what I put in um, as the gap for the leaf. And I'm just going to kind of work it in a little bit more detail, make sure that I've understood the shape and how it all fits together. So I have got one leaf quite closed up and it's inside another leaf. So there's one leaf that goes right round and inside it, very closed up, is another one. So have a really good look at what you've got in front of you um, to see what you've got. And then another little leaf comes from behind and there's a little, and it has a stem going down and then there's a little leaf coming out here. And we're gonna have another leaf Coming here, they're a bit awkward those leaves where you get them sort of end on. So I've roughly mapped that out and then underneath I have got another one that I can just partially see so that's going to come from underneath. Now if things get too complicated on your twig you are allowed to miss things out, you don't have to do absolutely all of it and I think it's going to over complicate things if I, I include that one bud that's half hidden behind the leaf so I'm going to omit that from my drawing to make it easier to do later on um, and the other thing to try and do is to keep your head in the same position otherwise as you bob around your view will keep on changing so it's quite important to try and keep your head still clear up and now I'm going to have a little go at the catkin for a second see if I can get that one a bit more in the right position and the right shape. I'm not going to worry too much about every last little bit about it. I'll come on to that in another lesson. Um, there seem to be some little bits. Oh, well, they've just fallen off. I think I'll just get rid of those out of the picture. So I don't know whether you can see. I'm done it quite faintly. I'm going to move this so I don't feel a bit sick. Um, so I really have just got myself a rough layout um, of the twig. There we go, there's the rough layout. I put it on really faintly so I can rub it out when I need to. Okay, well I'll come on to the next lesson in a little minute and let you get on with that for now.